Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video here in Moscow Centre. Yes, I'm absolutely in the middle of Moscow and I'm going to take you to what is considered as the best supermarket in all of Russia. Now, we have I've searched for some upmarket stores in Russia and I think I found that it's called Go Globus Gourmet. I'm going to do this in one take and it's right here off to my left hand side and we're going to walk in and have a look around and you're going to be shocked. Let's go on in and have a look shall we? Alright so here we are at Globus Gourmet. I just need to get around the word for a minute because I've been to Globus Supermarket where I live but this is Globus Gourmet now that has no connection whatsoever. It's completely a uh, its own chain. There's only three of these in all of Moscow and it's, uh, oh, let's uh, head on inside and you're going to be uh, absolutely taking your breath away. Let's go on in, shall we? Okay, everybody. So I'm going to talk nice and soft for a minute because this is as good as it gets in Russia for supermarkets. So this is called Globus Gourmet and it's right in Moscow center now. I didn't know about this place until about an hour ago and a very good friend of mine brought me here to have a look around. Now, I will show a few prices here and there but really the assortment is what is unique. And in the window they've got crystal glassware and we're right here on the main street in uh, Moscow center. But we'll just have a walk around here for a second and this place is not busy at all because it's not the kind of place where you get crowds coming in here. Literally, you're going to see a few people from time to time. But otherwise, have a look at these apples. How beautiful do they look? These little mini crab apples here as well. How nice are they? But the prices here are realistically mean 30, 40, 50% more than what you'd find in any normal market. Oh, have a look at the uh, pickled vegetables here. And one of my favorites, they're pickled uh, mushrooms. Oh, Ochin Kuzna. And they have here a very nice selection of drinks. And here we go, guys. Anybody that's from Australia watching, this is Australian ginger beer right here for 320 rubles. So I'm kind of curious how many Australian things we'd see in here. And to spot some Australian uh, ginger beer, even different Fantas. I was just looking here. I don't think I've seen exotic Fanta before. Here's the different waters. And we'll just spin around here. There's even some kids toys, some nuts. Look at these nice uh, dried fruit plates right here as well. Oh, it's uh, really amazing. It's actually a really big store. It's kind of the luxury of the luxury supermarkets in Moscow and in probably in all of Russia. Here's some more. Uh, are these like uh, pastries that you cook in the oven? Oh, and pancakes back there. Bellini. Bellini. Yeah, <laughs> oh. oh, some cut fruits. Let's just scooch around a little bit and we'll see all the uh, dried fruits, dried mangoes. So you're seeing here literally where the top three or four or five percent of Russians come shopping in Russia and they do have a frozen section but mostly it's pilmene and there's a little bit of frozen fish and some ice cream and here's the different uh, canned uh, seafoods imported seafoods is, uh, what you call it, crabs yeah and salty Water. All right, yeah. Like pickled crabs. Oh, pickled crabs. Whoa. 
they taste nasty though. <laughs> Not enjoyable. Let's walk around this way so we don't get in this lady shot here. And then... About the many, by the way. Yeah. They're made literally in the store. So they're not just like some random many. It's like you can see they're usually different colors. Like have you ever seen black pill Black pill many, no. Yeah, so these are actually handmade. Different colors. And what's the name of these big ones again? I actually have no clue. Oh, okay. The big pill many. <laughs> that looks like something you put in an oven. Right. Yeah, these are all handmade in the store. Let's just swing around over here. And yeah, the seafood. So there is prices on things, of course. You can uh, work that out by using the local uh, exchange rate. Uh, yeah, very nice. And the butcher right here. <laughs> the butcher's hiding for a second. Are for 100 grams. Yeah, right. So yeah, that's important. Yeah, in a lot of stores where you go in Moscow, they're typically by the kilo, but here they're by 100 gram weight. Oh, and look at that. There's a uh, is that roast duck? And here's the eggs. And don't expect to see the low-priced eggs here because 400 rubles. Wow. And even the price per egg, amazing. This is uh, smoked eggs. Oh, smoked eggs. Yeah. Wow. How I don't know about this place before. Let's scooch past this lady right here. And there's a little, yeah, a little bit of sushi here. Oh, so nice. And then they actually make it fresh for you. So these are just the display pieces. And there's an Asian section. Sure, yeah. Um, and we have here some uh, gourmet popcorn, which you don't see too much of in Russia. Here's some uh, jams and relishes. Actually, St. Delphore we have in Australia. I've seen that before. I, uh, walking around here, I've really struggled to find brands that I recognize. And look at the teas here. Wow, so that's nearly a hundred dollars for the can of tea bags. Wow, this is next level in terms of shopping, and that's really why you're seeing very few people in here. Have a look at the bread here, this is fantastic! All these different gourmet breads. Wow, this is just I'm sorry I'm a bit excited about this, but uh, I had someone bring me here, telling me how amazing this place is, and it's just on another level. Really it is, it's, there is pretty much, for me personally, I've not seen about 99% of things in this store anywhere else. Oh, have a look at the cake here. This is honey cake. Oh my gosh. Oh, tiramisu, so nice. Somebody is working super hard to make all of this. And then here's all of the gourmet chocolates. And I'm gonna call them luxury chocolates because this is really unbelievable. So again, you're talking about the top two or three or 5% of Russians would come to this store, if, if that. Um, oh, look at the sweets and treats here. So this is by 100 grams as well, I think, right? Yeah, to get this, you have to sell your kidney. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the... Uh, wow. These are like small truffles. Yeah, look at those. 800 rubles for 100 grams. Let's walk through here. Here's some more cakes and... Uh, biscuits and then we want to show you over here the alcohol section if we can get over there let's walk on ahead so let's just have a quick look here at this other section here so this is different oils and pastas and they even have the pans right here the german pans the world's best pan 
that's a big call. I'll have to look this brand up later on. The world's best. And here's the uh, sauces for pasta. And then the lady back here is making all of the uh, hams. Basically they're uh, weighing it off, and then doing the packaging themselves. And this is some good stuff right here. Wow. So this is not your average Russian supermarket by an absolute country mile. Let's, uh, let's try not to get people in the shot if we can. And then here is cottage cheese. And I wonder if anyone's purchased their milk just by the individual bottle here. Actually, this is even priced by size of bottle for the milk. Here's the uh, regular dairy section here. So there's a few common brands here, but mostly, again, these are all unique, one-off brands. The uh, kids' baby food section, nice and well stocked. And then we've got uh, some of the health food items right here. The, all these uh, healthy people out there in the world. I'm going to just skip over it because it's not my kind of part of the store to come shopping in. And then over here you've then got uh, breakfast cereals and different uh, flowers as well. Salts. Yeah, there is everything in here if you need it. All right, everybody, so I thought I'd show you their caviar fridge here because, of course, they're going to have some luxury caviars in here, so pretty much all the black caviars. But the highest priced one there is just about a thousand dollars a jar, I guess you'd call it. So, beluga caviar, my gosh. And here's all the uh, cured fish. Again, we'll do our best not to get anybody in the shot because I was being super nice to all the staff here to uh, allow us to make a video. So, and have a look at all of this salmon. Wow. Wow, wow. My friend with me here is just smiling away because while I'm walking around here, I'm just in shock at how nice the uh, store is and the selection. And this is all of the uh, prepared food. So if you don't want to make anything at home, you just come in here. This is all basically heat and eat, as they'd call it. Yeah, look at that. There's a whole range. And they have a kitchenware section as well, so you can get cleaning products, some health and beauty products over there. Maybe you need some new plates. I'm not too sure who's coming in for, is that like $100 for a plate? Am I right about that? In case you need some crystal glasses. Of course, what would I expect less in here? And here's the gourmet cheese section where the, the lady or the man, he's not here right now, they're all kind of hidden away. We'll come and do your uh, cheese slices for you and Prepare it how you wish. Have a look. There is not anything lacking in this store, I can guarantee you, in terms of brands and imports. And there is every brand you can possibly imagine here. Now this is the actual alcohol section. So there's some gourmet and craft beer right here which we're kind of interested in. And then there's even some Australian wines. And then this is Cape Mentel, which is from Margaret River, which is about four hours from where I live in Perth, Australia. Rawson's Retreat, Penfolds. We know all these brands if you're Australian for sure. Lindemans. And then they have some uh, champagnes here. 50,000 rubles. And then it's very dim and hard to see in here, but it's, uh, I think this is just how it is, the style. So we've got all of the Russian vodkas. Wow. So I'm kind of seeing this all for the first time. We literally did walk in here and barely kind of had a look around. Here's some whiskeys. Johnny Walker is incredibly expensive. This is the blue label for Russia especially. This is 
near on $550 a bottle. So that's more than double the price of normal Blue Label around the world. And there's some ports here, some gins, but these are really kind of uh, unknown, uh, kind of unique brands. A few tequilas here we know very well. And then uh, rums, some from uh, Dominican Republic there, Nicaragua. And then they have the chilled wines. I'm not a very big wine connoisseur, so there's a uh, private uh, wine and champagne room. It's going to sound very e echoey in here, but there's some amazing stuff. Now, let's come on out. There's a glass door right here. And then have a look here at some of these uh, bottles of uh, wine here, 150,000 rubles. So we're not even paying this for a month's rent. These are like two months, three months rent. And I want to show you this one right here on the right, 164,000 rubles. So this is about 4,000 Australian dollars. That's 2015 Grange Hermitage, which for the average Australian, they can't even find that bottle in Australia, let me tell you. And here it is. Here's some cognacs, some armagnacs, and some more wines. Some uh, classic red wines right there. Yeah, this is... It's really, uh, it blows me away to come into this supermarket. I mean, please realize that this is empty because it's, this is the story that you're in. It's not going to get a crowd of people. There's going to be an occasional person shopping. But that's about it. It's uh, absolutely amazing. I hope you guys like this video. Um, I really struggle to... Uh, get access to these kind of stores in Russia and thankfully these guys have been super nice and let us film in here oh have a look at that shrimp salad right there oh shrimp salad here's some uh, chicken salad Caesar salad oh my gosh everything we could ever imagine and more yeah We'll end up back here at the beginning at the uh, fruit and veg section. So yeah, what do you think everybody? Let's just spin around. Oh, try not to get everybody in the shot. Okay everybody, so we've finished our walkthrough of Globus Gourmet. What did you think? Now, for me, I was just in shock how upscale, <laughs> luxurious <laughs> supermarket shopping can be in Russia and as I pointed out a couple of times there this really the people going there is your top two or three or five percent of people here in Russia I mean the average Russian I mean me included we're not going to go to this kind of supermarket shopping because the price is just really you know it's very high let me say but the quality of goods kind of is comparable to that so Thanks everybody. I'm just watching as I cross the street here. Thanks for watching Traveling with Russell. Thanks for coming to Moscow Center with me today. And I hope you liked it. Thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down maybe if you didn't like it. And post a comment. And I'll see you in another video. Bye everybody.